What's going on guys, Random Comic here. So today I've got some Modern Warfare 3 for you guys, but I mainly want to talk about a little wish list that I have and just some ideas that have been flowing into my head about what I would like to see in Black Ops 2. And with the multiplayer trailer at least being revealed on Tuesday, we do not know what they are going to show. We don't know if they're going to show off anything new at all. Whether it's going to be, you know, new kill streaks, new game modes or new perks we don't know what they're going to actually reveal so until they start revealing stuff we cannot know we can only speculate and wish on what it's going to be but today i just wanted to bring you guys a few new perk ideas a few game modes and basically talk about the stuff that i think that is if it's going to remain in the game then it has to be either you know nerfed or buffed and then as well as stuff i just think should not return at all and mainly the first thing i want to talk about and this is mainly about the objective players. If you see the way that Call of Duty is set up in Modern Warfare 3 strike packages, Assault is mainly just for kills. Support is for supporting your team and basically just to, you know, make everybody more aware of their surroundings, giving yourself UAVs, giving yourself a better chance in gunfights with the vests and stuff like that. And then Specialist is a whole different thing where it's mainly built for getting MOAVs, but it's a very, very good killing class as well if you're really good at just killing people. And all that stuff is nice and stuff like that, but none of that helps you take objectives. They've been implementing stuff little by little to help the guys that really just want to win. And they introduced a trophy system. That is perfect for objective players, but I see it mostly used as the camper's equipment. You know, to basically, if I'm going to camp in a clip spot and head glitch, how about I throw down a trophy system so I can't get naded? That's what I see it as. I see it as a better way to camp even better. And even though I like it for objective, I don't see it used for objective gameplay that much. That's why I really think they need to implement more stuff and transition from, you know, changing it from equipment to basically perks. And the perk that I am just shocked that I haven't seen in any game is just a perk that literally is take objectives faster and whatever it may be you know it doesn't have to be super super quicker like if I literally just want to go into a game I want to win and I'm playing that game you know solely to win I don't care about the kills I don't care about stacking up a high KD if I just want to win there should be something in there to help me other than kill streaks which I think at this point the only thing that is helping people win is kill streaks and basically broken spots in the map that are control points and if there was just that single perk I think it totally change half of how domination is played and basically how other game modes could play as well if you had one that could capture domination flags faster and plant demolition and like search and destroy bombs faster that could just totally change how some of these are played because as of right now Dom is just a breeding ground for people stacking high KDs as well like search and destroy the only way to really play search and destroy is stealth and it basically just hinders that entire uh, you know hinders that entire game mode to just have to be stealth tactics and some people will agree with that some people won't but I think for the most part a lot of people would agree that search and destroy is basically all stealth and waiting and uh, I think it would really open it up if they had some type of perk like that where they could actually, you know, help out the little guys like us that actually want to just win the game and stuff like that. But let me know what you guys think about that. Next thing I think, the perk they should bring back that I think it is stupid that they didn't bring it back from Modern Warfare 2 as well as Black Ops is Lightweight. They had the excuse for Modern Warfare 3 as, we'll bring it back as a death streak. And you run so extremely fast, there's no way that that is equivalent to lightweight. Because dudes literally run around on freaking, you know, steroids, basically. They're juiced up, hence the name. So I really think lightweight should be run back, brought back. I think that's a, a very good, useful perk that they should have really, really focused on bringing back. And a few of the perks I don't want to return. This is debatable but I just hate stalker for some reason I think it's unfair and the game doesn't bring enough like visual help it basically tricks you half the time 
I've had guys come around corners, they're on my screen for like 2-3 seconds, not shooting a bullet at all, and I'm shooting at them, and if I die, you know, suddenly, and if you watch the kill cam, that guy comes around the corner already firing aim down sight, it's, it's really weird, there's something wrong with that perk, where the lag in the game, and basically, it just breaks the point of lag compensation, <laughs> like if you're gonna put lag compensation and help you know the people that are battling with the hosts and stuff like that there there's something really really wrong with that at this point where it's consistent every single game where i encounter that problem like everybody complains about getting shot around corners and stuff like that that happens you know every other game here there so and for some people it probably happens every game for me though stalker happens every single game where i get deaths and i lose gunfights that i thought i had the entire upper hand in and it's just really, really weird. That's a picky one for me, but the other perk that I would want to implement, and this is really only if they go this route, was I've heard rumors of Call of Duty going away from one-hit knives. But we've heard that since Modern Warfare 3, and I heard the tweets and saw all the people excited that, oh, Modern Warfare 3, there's no longer going to be a knife. It's going to be part of your equipment, you know, that you have to switch to. That never happened, and we're hearing it again with Black Ops 2, everybody's getting excited, oh look, they're gonna have, you know, the knife as equipment, or the knife isn't going to be a one-hit kill. And this is only if the knife is going to be a one-hit kill. There should be some type of perk that you either have to put on to get one-hit knives, or if you're gonna have one-hit knives in general, then there should be a perk that eliminates the knife and makes it a two-hit knife. Because panic knife knifing has just been a problem since COD 4. And, you know, it's, unless it's always going to be in the game, they have to start changing stuff. There's certain things that you don't see or hear from Treyarch. But one thing that I did hear from David Vondahar, they were actually debating whether or not you should be able to knife sentry guns. And it's funny because they were like, once you put something in the game, it's in really, really hard to take it out. Like, what if I told you guys, you can no longer knife a sentry gun? You had to have an EMP grenade. That's what they're debating. Like, they're going to either implement this new stuff in the game that you have to take out sentry guns with, or they're just going to make them knifeable and maybe forget about having that type of equipment. You know, like an EMP grenade or something like that. That's stuff they're debating about, about because some people are so strongly firm about it. Once you tell somebody something... Once it's in the game, it's really hard to take out because so many people are going to be upset with it. But, you know, that's just something interesting that you don't often see. You know, a battle between people and a battle of words, basically disagreement in the, the production of the game, you know, that we never hear about, you know. But, um, next thing I want to actually talk about was game modes. It's really, really tough to think about new game modes because they brought a couple in Modern Warfare 3, some really wacky ones like the the jug suit and all or nothing and stuff like that, you know, those type of game modes. All or nothing was actually a really fun game mode, I thought. It was actually something new that cool that the community brought up. But um the one the best game mode I think right now is Kill Confirmed. I think Kill Confirmed is the best game mode they brought in, and that is basically stolen right from Crisis. In the Crisis 2 multiplayer you had to, every time you killed somebody, if you wanted to get that kill streak, you had to take that tag. Really, really helpful in eliminating camping. Because who cares if a guy's going to get all his kills, you know, if he's not going to get the tags, then he has no kill streak. That would be an awesome implementation into the implement, <laughs> implementation into the game. If, you know, what if there's strictly a game mode, I don't know how popular it would be, but take that kill confirmed to the next step you don't get, you know, your streak until you actually confirm that tag. That totally eliminates the whole reason to camp, and it eliminates, you know, people, uh, you know, getting a streak. Because the most people, reason why people are scared to move is because they're trying to get some type of kill streak. And if you basically make it so he has to grab that tag, he's going to have to move a lot more often than he likes. And basically, once you take people out of their comfort zone, that's when the gameplay gets fun that's when you know crazy stuff happens and that's when you just get excited when you actually win multiple gunfights that maybe you thought you weren't able to get you know <laughs> so that's just something cool if they could implement that that would be a lot of fun because they basically stole that right from it you know confirming tags like crisis 2 was confirmed the tag to get the kill 
to get the kill streak. They just took it, okay, let's make that the objective. If you want to win, you have to grab the tag. Okay, basically same idea, just change it a little bit. And I think the only thing they could really do is either take it right from Crisis 2 with that, or implement a free-for-all where, you know, basically, if you want to win the free-for-all, you have to confirm the tags. I think that's just something new. Free-for-all has pretty much been the same since every Call of Duty, since Modern Warfare. And just to spice it up a little bit would be fun. So that's the way I'm looking at it. Just make it so in free-for-all. If you have to win, you know, you can't just have that one guy uh, unfairly win. Because I think it's kind of stupid that maybe a guy can go 30, you know, 30 and 30. He can go 1 to 1 ratio. And there might be another guy that really worked his ass off the same way, not camping. And he maybe he went 25 and 8 or something like that. But he didn't get 30 kills. I really don't see how that guy going 30 and 30 deserves to win. Because he obviously didn't show much skill. He just showed that he could probably die one to one every time and get the tag. And maybe that other guy was just, you know, unfortunate to win. Uh, this a weird example. But if they could just implement it to that, like if you have to get 30 tags, fight for 30 tags. Don't fight for 30 kills. I think the tags make it a lot more fun and interesting because you can camp in a traffic, you know, a high traffic area, but what happens when you act actually have to move out that high traffic area to get the tags totally changes up the way that's played and it basically brings something new which I think is exactly what they need even though it's already in there kill confirmed is already in there throw it into free-for-all just see how it works out that'd be something interesting but um the one thing this is another perk I actually forgot to mention that I have listed was buff extreme conditioning I know in black ops marathon was extreme conditioning where it's double sprint marathon pro was unlimited sprint i'm a fan of the unlimited sprint some people aren't some people are i think if you're gonna bring that back the whole point in having that is to be able to move faster so please bring it back to unlimited sprint and i really like what modern warfare 3 did with the higher like climbing uh, obstacles faster that was a really cool thing they put in but i think that pretty much covers it I have no idea how long this commentary is, I'm just talking and having no gameplay in the background, so I'll throw some gameplay in the back. But, uh, thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think, if you could remember what I said before. Mainly my list was this that I'm reading off of. New perk was to take objectives faster and plant bombs faster, bring back light weight, uh, buff extreme conditioning, introduce a new kill confirm free for all, as well as a kill confirmed game mode where kill streaks have to be obtained by grabbing tags. And certain things I would not like to see return are stalker and one hit knives. So let me know what you guys think of that. That's the basic list I have there. But let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.